Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of September 24th in my Erin Codron Vertical Neutral. So excited. I think this is like, the, this is the first full week in fall and I'm really feeling it. The weather was actually pretty cool here this week. So I am just really feeling the fall vibes. Um, I am going to be using this Autumn Sunset Collection from the from Planning Roses. This was like a part of her fall pre-sale. I just think this is so beautiful. I'm excited, so excited to use this. This is my first time using one of her kits. Um, so we'll see how we get along. She has like, you know, a nice like medium premium matte paper, not like the super thick buttery paper, but like not like a papery paper, if that makes sense. Um, and it looks like she's got like a lot of fun stuff in this kit. Ooh, I love that little weekend banner. I pulled a foil one out, but I think I'm gonna use that. Anyway, um, so just like really, really cute. And then I do have um, the glitter headers and the deco add-on. As well, I grabbed some Simply Gilded pre-sale washi, which if you've been watching my channel lately, I have been all about. And as well, I have my Rock Your Notebook pre-planning insert that I use, which is just a blank insert with this gorgeous shimmery cover. And it's Tomo River paper, which is really nice for lettering on. So I do my lettering practice with my pre-planning in there. And this is going to be a voiceover, so I am just going to jump in. Okay, so I am going to get started with my usual stuff. I did just trim a little bit of the bottom washi off so that I could mix in a little bit of Simply Gilded um, washi. So actually, like I said in this, it was like a medium premium matte paper, but I actually, as I was working with this paper, I really, really liked it. So I'm like upgrading it in my book. Um, it was super, super, super easy to reposition. Um, the colors do print like a little bit more muted than other premium mats or other mats I think and certainly more than like glossy it's like I'm not actually sure if that's like intentional or not because like it's like but the colors come through a little bit more muted than like um say you'll see when I put down the red simply gilded washi at the top that it's like that looks a little bit more vibrant than um than the kit but I do think that with this like fall color palette it has a really nice effect and like I said this these stickers just like lift super easy, like as easy as the Cri Cricut Paper Co. stickers, except that you can write on these with any pen. And they actually did have like a really smooth and nice writing feel. So I did really like them. Um, anyway, I am also using these date covers from ColourPop Paper in this sort of like a uh, bluish purpley blackish color. Um, really cute. And these are my first time using the ColourPop uh, oh no, I used them the week before too. I really love these date colors and like the pressed feel, uh, foil effect. And then using these rose colored days, um, date dots, I believe. And then, yeah, so this was like a super fun week. The weather was so nice for most of the week. Um, we got some really gorgeous outside time that was just very enjoyable. I was super feeling the fall vibes this week. And then it's actually funny because the week after ended up being like the week that we're in now was like super hot. So <laughs> glad that I used this this week. It's just really just definitely feeling the sort of fall vibes um, of this week. We just got some great outside time. And then also this weekend, um, friends of ours were in town. They were here for a wedding, but um, not like staying with us or anything, but we did get all of the kids together um, on Saturday morning. And it was so much fun. It was, it's friends that I haven't, we haven't seen in a really long time. And it was just like really nice. And the kids had so much fun together. So it was just like really sweet and beautiful. And I just absolutely loved it. So I am using this Hello Fall um, a box in it as the quote box. There was like a couple different options for the quote box um, for this week, but I just really was like kind of feeling that one. Um, and then I am going to put down the rest of my full boxes as well. Um, like I said, these were just like super repositionable, which ended up coming in handy because I like messed up the header situation. So I ended up having to like move some of the full boxes down as I, um, as I go through with the headers. So convenient week to have chosen repositionable boxes. Um, but anyway, I just thought that this kit was like really, really pretty and just like very fall, probably way more fall than it is here. It's so funny because I am just like from when you're from the East Coast, and but then you live somewhere that's like warmer so we live in Texas now I grew up in Philadelphia area and we lived in Boston directly before this so like it's still like this fall quote-unquote fall weather was like high 70s low 80s this week and now it's like back in the 90s and then um you know which is like crazy to think of that as being fall weather like in Boston you already like 
you definitely already need a jacket by now. Like you, you could probably see be seeing snow soon. Um, so it's definitely a totally different weather vibe. And like, that is just, I feel like it just permanently messes with your mind. Like, I don't know how long I would have to live here before I got used to it. Cause I just don't, I don't think I'll ever get used to the weather being like that. Um, I just, I like, I don't know. It just in my mind, it's like still some days I'm like, yes, fall. But a lot of days I'm like, it's still summer. And it just makes the it makes it really hard for me to like keep up with the passage of time. Um, Monday was my son turned six months or I don't, well, it's not his birthday, but you know what I mean? He was, he's six months as of Monday. And like, I'm just like, how does that even, how is that even possible? Like, I feel like summer was two minutes ago. Like where has the, I feel like March was two minutes ago. Where has the time gone? So it was just like really crazy. Um, but, but I do like the weather here actually. Um, I would rather have the hot than like deal with the boss, another Boston winter for sure. But I do think like maybe, maybe Philadelphia or like the sort of near Southeast, like DC type area has it, has it right. So like, it doesn't get like too, too crazy cold or snow or it's like you get snow, but like not so, so much snow that like it's overwhelming. Um, but like you, I do, I miss like the changing of the seasons, even though this like you know, sort of October through like May in Texas is so, the weather is like beautiful and perfect and wonderful. And I just, I do really like it. So I go back and forth on that, but it's fine. We're here for now. So I will just enjoy it while we're here. And then, uh, we'll hope that it snows while we're home over a uh, Christmas winter vacation. When we go back to the East coast, uh, for, for usually at the end of every year for like two weeks, um, which is really nice. So hopefully we get snow. We did last year. It was really fun. My daughter had a really good time in it so and I think this year she will be even more able to enjoy it this took a really random tangent anyway I am putting down some glitter uh like some foiled overlays from Artbox stickers on the red um the red glitter headers and then as well I used some of the glitter headers from the kit and then the solid gold headers are from rose colored days and then I also have like these fall but foiled overlays from rose colored days so I definitely wanted to get them in while I was using this like fall kit and it worked etc so I used those two um there and then I also have um some some leaves from uh sticky essentials that are foiled that I popped on but the camera cut off at the end so you can kind of see one on the bottom washi but you didn't actually get to see me put them on anyway on to the sidebar um I do my meals on the sidebar um I I'm putting down this weekly ombre, although I, that is going to die later on because I was trying to pull something up and it was, anyway, it's a whole debacle, but, uh, for the, for the meantime, it's going to stay there. And then I'm putting some of the beige, um, Simply Gilded Washi. It's so funny. I didn't think that was going to be like my favorite color from the presale, but it certainly like has been one of my most used and I think it's so pretty. So I've really been feeling that beige, um, simply gilded washi. And I decided to do like a free heart, uh, checklist at the bottom for like a little bit of extra memory keeping space. I just had a couple of things that I wanted to write down that didn't necessarily fit on like a specific day. Um, one being that like my son can like almost crawl and he can like get all around the house and this has just been like a really gradual development so I didn't really feel like it belonged on a specific day but I definitely wanted to like mark that down because it's it's really great to like go back and be able to look at like the baby milestones and see like when they actually had them um especially because like he you like don't believe, he's like fairly young to be that mobile um so like sometimes you don't believe it. And then you can be like, nope, I wrote it down. That's right. Um, so I have those for my daughter. So it's nice to have for him as well. Um, and I am using some scripts this week from, uh, rose colored days. And then that little bow was from a sampler from color pop paper as well. Um, just to sort of, I would put remember, um, down and as the memory keeping, and then I grabbed a Fox and Pip reading girl this week. I finished Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. And, um, and then I, waited a little bit and then I started the seventh book but I marked down Deathly Hollows as my reading one so then as I mentioned on Monday my son did turn uh six months I decided to like just leave that blank when I was filling things out because I have the Scribble Prince Co baby milestones like in the mail on the way to me so I'm gonna pop that in there when it comes just because like it's not like I'm gonna need another six month sticker um I guess in my monthly memory spread but I don't know what color foil that's gonna be so anyway I decided I wanted to put that there and then we went for like a mini walk that afternoon um but like 
there was like no one outside. Like literally no one was in our whole neighborhood. No one was on the trail. No one was by the playground. It was so creepy. There weren't even any cars. I just got like so spooked and creeped out that we had to go home. It was like super a weird thing. Um, cause usually there's always people around anyway. Then I just like, that was like a really ugh afternoon. The kids were like cranky and it was just like, blah. Anyway, so I thought just marking that down, we didn't really do anything too specific. And then that night I took a bath and painted my nails probably because it was such an ugh afternoon. Um, and I was just like not feeling it. Um, and then on Tuesday, um, my daughter had school and it's actually the first time that I did drop off at school. Usually my husband takes her on his way to work. Um, but he had like a super early morning meeting. So I took her and it was actually, it was really fun and cute. She did really well. She's like past the point where she cries at drop off. So it's kind of nice. And she actually had like a super great day at school. Um, she's been having mostly great days at school, but it was like a really, it was, it was cute to get her, drop her off. Um, and yeah, so I just marked that with a half box since it was my first drop off. Um, and then that night I filmed actually, I, oh, I, so I started putting the stickers down on Wednesday. Don't worry guys. I will realize I moved them over on to Tuesday, but so that night I filmed my collab plan with me, which was the one that went out last week which was like a Harry Potter collab plan with me. Um, that was so much fun. So definitely check that out. If you haven't already, it is linked below. Um, and as well, while I was like finishing filming that, I was also listening to the sixth book on, on like audible on audiobook, And I finished the sixth book. So it was like, that was like really perfect. And the sixth book is my favorite. So even more perfect. Um, so anyway, so I just wanted to mark that down as well. And I have those like little book doodles that, and like film clapper doodles that are from, uh, the J crew plans collaboration with rose colored days. I'm trying to like use those film clapper ones, like, um, creatively because I want to use them but like if you watched my, that plan with me you'll know that I actually hate the movies so I never watch them and I love the book so anyway just glad to have a reason to use that um so on Wednesday on actual Wednesday not me making a mistake um we I went for a Starbucks run and then I took the kids to like this indoor play place um or ball pits as my daughter calls it um because she just loves the ball pit there um and just in general. And then we got, uh, we, I was just like really in the mood for like chicken fingers. So we stopped at Zaxby's on the way home for lunch. Um, unpopular opinions. I think Zaxby's is better than, um, Chick-fil-A. I don't know <laughs> about you guys, but I really, uh, really enjoy a, Jax a Zaxby's chicken figure every once in a while. So, uh, we stopped and got that on the way home and had a really yummy lunch. Um, and then that afternoon the weather was so perfect and we went back outside and this time it wasn't creepy. Everyone was outside and we had a big, like massive neighborhood street cul-de-sac play date type thing. So that was really fun. Um, and then that night we also had our homemade pizza night. So we made, made some pizza on the grill and it was super delicious. Um, and as well, I just kind of like chilled, hung out, watched TV and did some editing that night. Um, so grab that laptop, laptop from Artbox stickers and then the film's the edit script is from Rose Colored Days. So on Thursday, um, I like did not sleep that night at all pretty much like it was just a really horrible night's sleep the baby was up like a bajillion times so um just marking down a really horrible sleep and which of course makes going to work and or not going to work but doing work so much fun um anyway that that day my daughter did have school um as well um and my husband just took her so anyways just like a really blah kind of day but um the weather continued to be amazing so when we got home when my daughter when after I picked my daughter up from school, we like just walked outside and went to this little playground that's in the neighborhood and stuff. And it was just like, so, so, so nice to be outside. Um, like I said, this was like the part of the week that had just like absolutely spectacularly perfect weather. And I was just like feeling very grateful and feeling very happy to be outside. And I grabbed that Fox and Pip, uh, fall girl to use there. It wasn't like a fitness walk. It was more just like a, you know, having fun with the kids walk. Um, and that, that day as well, we actually canceled our cable. Um, we just like, haven't been using it. I talked about this a little bit on one of my other play movies. We haven't really been using it that much. And, uh, we just like mostly watch things on like Netflix or Amazon prime as well. And so we just decided to like 
go in and get Hulu, which we didn't have, um, to like finish things out and just cancel our cable. And so far, like no regrets. And we haven't noticed a difference at all. It's been like about a week now, I guess. Um, and like I said, we're not feeling bad at all. The only thing we were maybe thinking is like, like live sports, but which is more impacts my husband than me to be perfectly honest. Um, but Thursday night football's on, um, Amazon prime. And anyway, we just haven't like, like, yeah, we just haven't really missed it that much. So we'll see. Um, we're thinking about just getting like a, an antenna so we can watch like, you know, the sports that are on like NBC, ABC and that kind of stuff. But yeah, and we, we are feeling pretty happy with the decision and we're happy to cut that bill. Our TV, we like lost our, you know, we just moved like our lower introductory rate pricing and our TV bill went up like between, uh, it had like two increments of going up once over the summer and then once again and it went it went up so high like just so ridiculously high um we just decided to get rid of it so saving us about like 150 dollars a month so we're pretty happy about that um then uh on friday after that we uh we went just i went to Starbucks. We went to Starbucks. <laughs> My daughter loves going to Starbucks, although I don't know why. We just go through the drive-thru, but she like talks about it all the time. Anyway, we went to Starbucks. I got a pumpkin spice latte. Then we went to Target, um, and then we went and got some eggs. Um, we tried to go to Hat Creek, which is like our a- our, our eggies and play place, but they were, didn't have power. Um, I'm not really sure why, but they didn't have power, so then we just had to like stop um, at, I think, Sonic for some eggs, because like at that point, I had already promised her eggs, and she was like, I need my my eggs now. So my daughter is very serious about food. Um, anyway, and then we went to s- story time at the library and my husband had to work super late that night, which is like super unfortunate and hardly ever happens, especially on a Friday. Like usually he gets home super early on a Friday, but then we, he did just bring home a masala walk for uh, dinner, which is like uh, yummy Asian food or Asian fusion food. Um, and then on Saturday we got breakfast tacos. We picked them up and that's when my friends came over. It was raining. We were originally going to meet them at like a playground, but, um, it was raining. So they just came to the house and the kids all had like a super fun playtime and ate a bunch of taco breakfast tacos. And it was amazing. So then we just ran some errands, um, in the afternoon. So I used that, get some grocery script from the kit. Um, and that the heart and that bow are from Clever Gal Crafts. And we just had like kind of a chill afternoon at home, um, after, you know, like a really crazy busy morning with friends, like good busy, or, I mean, it wasn't even busy. It was just like really fun and active. I don't know. Like, I feel like playing with other kids, like wears your kids out more than just like playing by themselves, if that makes sense sense. Um, oh, well, I mean, it's, that's definitely a thing. Um, so on Sunday I got to sleep in, which was super nice. And by sleeping in, I mean like seven fifteen or seven thirty. Um, let's be real here, but it was really nice. And then I worked on, I had like a super fun crafternoon morning. My husband took my daughter to the playground and while the baby was napping, I started on, um, my fall pocket TN setup, um, which I'm, and then I, I'm waiting for a few more things, but actually just came in the mail. So I'm really excited. So I'd be able to finish that up now. Um, I'm so, so excited for that. Um, and then as well, we like decided to wash our couch cushions, like the like the covers for them. Um, so I don't usually march laundry in here, but we washed our couch cushions and that was like a pretty big and epic endeavor. So it felt planner worthy. So I put that in using the really cute laundry time sticker, um, from the kit. Um, and we went out for Greek food for lunch. And then that night we just had like kind of a chill night and I took a bath and painted my nails. Um, so yeah, it was like a pretty fun week. Um, I'm just going to finish up by putting that down and doing a little bit of deco. If I forgot to say where any of these stickers are from, everything is linked down in the description below. And if you you have any specific questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will let you know where something is from. But that is it for this week. And I am going to throw it back over to the live voice. Okay, that is everything all filled out. This looks so gorgeous. I did add in a little bit more deco um, while I had the camera off and also I had to swap this out because I started writing like 
the meals from the wrong week and didn't realize it until I got to like uh, a meal that I was like, "Mm, there's no way we had that last week. So anyway, I had to swap that out. Um, I also did just grab these two clips. It's like a peach palm from the fall collection. And this one's from Just Giovanna. Like, look how cute that looks together. I don't usually do clips on like my plan with me here, but they just looked too perfect to not pop on there. Um, I am so happy with this. I did all of my writing in a Pigma Micron 03. And let me show you what I have left from the kit. Um, a bit more of those functionals, which those will be like really great to pair with the rest of the season. Um, Cause I do have a lot of fall kits with like similar color motifs and um, some deco, a bunch of little things, the habit trackers, um, an extra full box, which I didn't even realize I had. I probably, I might've used that one. Um, but anyway, um, most of these, I did just like cut this down. This I use for like um, memory keeping. So I'm going to fill that out after this is all done. One little quarter box here, some glitter headers, um, some like labels and other functionals. So I have a decent amount left for this kit. Probably grab like this with a couple other fall kits once they've been used and then use them in my B6 or in my work planner. Um, I'll give it one last little wiggle so you can see that gorgeous gold foil. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at mycraftyplans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.